Welcome to Rich Conversations. I'm biased, but we're living in the most interesting time in human history. Right now, we're experiencing the digital revolution, and it's completely changed all aspects of human life. But the next revolution has already started, the biotechnology revolution. It's so important that we come together as cultures and people because the actions we take will affect the course of our species' future. We can trace this back to the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century, but of course you can, you know, go back a little further. But since then, our technology and our relationship to it has just exponentially increased over the last century and a half. The first half of the 20th century, physics was probably the biggest development. We created nuclear bombs. The second half of the 20th century, we've seen this massive growth in information technology. So systems storing, retrieving, and then sending information. And then connecting these systems to the internet. And we live in this era, the digital revolution. It's still to be determined whether we're handling the digital revolution well. I would say we haven't. And you could have guessed that I would have said this from listening to previous episodes, but you know we have to understand that humans are now hackable. Biology and technology are converging. And by understanding psychology and the science of humans, technology can be used to effectively influence people. So that's why it's so important that we increase our awareness and we build our mental toughness because every single day, we're gonna be tested and bombarded with distractions. Most of these distractions, we actually welcome them, right? Because they come in the form of pleasure, but they're designed to also provoke our emotions. 2020 will have been the most impactful year during the digital revolution. And this is because of something biological, a pandemic. During the pandemic, we interacted less with other people and more with digital technology. People are highly influenced by what they consume. Today, it pays literally to be sensational. Bored people act extremely to these sensational things. People who don't develop their critical thinking skills or their emotional toughness are especially susceptible to agendas that provoke based on emotions. As an independent free thinker, I've seen the digital revolution hijacked by people on both political extremes, and it concerns me a lot. I do, however, believe more and more reasonable people are catching on. From the conversations I'm having and the people that I'm affiliating with, there's a growing American underground. There's this large mass of people, quiet people, who are raising their eyebrows, saying, wait a minute. And after a year of experiencing a pandemic, we have enough data now to kind of understand the reality of it. And the people who haven't changed their position since day one are looking more and more ridiculous. Time is now revealing who ties their egos and self-worth to their political views. These people are looking less and less reasonable. Note this. Our communities need to be led by reasonable people. People who are looking after what's good for the most amount of people and not their own political party or personal agendas. We need leaders who are guided by morals and ethics. We have to better understand each other's perspective and point of view because we have so many issues to address coming up. Aside from climate change and this quiet cold war with China we're experiencing, we have the biotech revolution. Our molecules are now microchips and they can be edited and programmed. Start looking into CRISPR. The technology is, is going to be the biggest thing to happen in human history. And we're not even, all this is happening. We're experiencing a, new, experiencing a new revolution and we're not even close to completing the digital revolution. So our lifetimes are going to be just filled with technological revolutions. And in order to survive and thrive, we have to always be learning and adapting. Because if we don't, we will fail. We all agree on this. 
We all want to live longer, healthier, and happier. We're making developments to edit our DNA. Remove cancer, remove Alzheimer's. We can now even create designer babies. So as Americans, we have to come together to figure out what are the ethics of all of this, but also as a global community, right? We can decide something, but China or Russia could decide something else. Rich people will be able to live much longer than poor people. We have to figure out how to work together so that our world remains peaceful. Because contrary to popular belief or what social media will have you believe, we're living in the most peaceful time in human history. We're more likely to die from suicide than war. Violence to ourselves. It's something we're not talking about enough. The internal struggle and the health of our minds. Go out and do your own research on these topics. You don't listen to this podcast, or else you shouldn't, to get an in-depth perspective on specific issues. This show instead provides a variety of angles of life. This show is going to elevate your awareness and your agility. So much is coming at us in our lives, and this show will help you navigate to live your best life. Because after all, isn't that what we all should do? Strive to reach our potential and live the lives we dream of. We can create a beautiful 21st century.